If you young fly say, put your hand in the air. Willie Mo Jr. here. One of my favorite people in the whole world, Les Brown, tells a story about two little African boys. The story goes, way down in the jungle deep. Bro, that's the wrong story. Oh. My bad. Here we go. It was two little African boys by a stream playing with some rock. Now they mama had told them don't be playing with no rocks, boy. But you know how it go. Boys will be boys. So the little boys outside throwing rocks. Mm. Hold up. Throwing big rocks, boy. Along came two men asking the little boys, Hey guys, if you don't mind, I want to give you some candy for those rocks you're throwing. Little boys on candy for these rocks? Yes, candy for the rocks that you're throwing. Little boys on you got a deal, goofball. So the little boys gathered all the rocks that they could find and got all the candy they could find. While they was eating the candy, the little boys were thinking to themselves, Man, these dudes show this stupid for giving us all this candy just for some rocks. But see what the little boys didn't know, that those two men were actually diamond miners. And the rocks that they gave away weren't actually just rocks, they were diamonds. See, the little boys didn't understand what they had. Therefore, they gave away their diamonds freely. I know what you thinking. Willie Mo Jr., what they got to do with me? See, you have a diamond on the inside of you that you sometimes just give away. See, your diamond comes in the form of a dream. You remember when you wanted to be a teacher? Then you found out how much they made a year? Diamond. Dream. And you decided to pick a career just for the money. Candy. And now every day you wake up. Miserable. But you show sure getting that paper? Stupid. Oh. You remember when you were supposed to write that book, record that song, start that daycare, when you told your baby mama that you was gonna pay that little child support on time? Whatever your dream is, on the wake of this 50th anniversary of Dr. Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech, I need you to get to the getting, partner. This week I challenge you to look deep down on the inside of yourself and find out what that dream was that you stole away. Then I want you to get a pen and a piece of paper and I want you to write that vision down. In every day of your life, I want you to look at that dream. I know right now it might seem crazy for you to say, I want be an astronaut but if you see it every day begin to read proverbs 16 and 3. hey bro what's proverbs 16 and 3 about if you serious about your dream you'll go read it Flat out. then i believe through your prayers god is gonna give you the plan and the moment that you get the plan start walking in faith i'm gonna keep it 100. your dream is not for you it's for you to serve somebody else so if you don't follow the dream the diamond that the lord has placed on the inside of you you're doing somebody a disjustice partner that's selfish as a mug bro remember fear is an illusion that you don't have to accept when on on purpose. Oh, if you're looking for me, I'll be somewhere changing the world. Flat out. Make sure you click like, do a thumbs up, write a comment. Thank you everybody for giving to the Flat Out TV campaign. You are helping us make this dream come alive. Shout out to all my dreamers. Listen, if people don't laugh at your dream, it ain't big enough. All right? God bless you. I ain't trying to impress. No. I ain't trying to impress. No. I ain't trying to impress. No. That's favor. I'm blessed. Boy. Yes. I ain't trying to impress. No. I ain't trying to impress. No. I ain't trying to impress. No. That's favor. I'm blessed, boy. I ain't trying to impress. Press. No secret, bro, cause I'm blessed. Bless. Of course, I've been through tribes. Tribe. Passed most of my tests. Yeah. Six days I'm grinding. Right. Seven days I rest. Press. Five K off that 50. 50. Ties off of my check. Woo. 